Hello everybody, welcome to the studio. Hopefully you're all having an amazing creative day. So today we're gonna to be talking about Canon menus and more specifically, why you're missing options in your Canon menu. Why, why are your options missing when on YouTube you see the reviews and they have the options and you don't have the options. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about that today because I've been getting this question a lot in my YouTube comments. Someone, please help me. My Canon EOS R doesn't have orange and green tab. Also cannot find firmware option. All right, so we have the EOS R hooked up to the Ninja here, so you can uh, you can see yourselves, your uh, the Pocket 3 today. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now we can see what the camera sees and we can take a look into the menu. So right off the bat, we are here in automatic mode, A mode, and if we go into the menu, you can see that a lot of the features are missing. We only have very few features, very limited features. So what Canon did is, if you're shooting in automatic mode, they're assuming you don't really know what you're doing and they don't want you messing around with anything. So the camera's gonna be making a lot of the decisions and a lot of the options are missing from your menu. But if we pop here and we go into one of the uh, manual modes, and now we pop back into the menu, you can see that we have all the options. Everything's here, so you don't have to worry, including your custom menu, your, uh, your green menu, where uh, you can set up your own custom uh, menu options, which is pretty cool, and you have multiple tabs within there, so that's pretty awesome. If you haven't figured that out yet, that's, uh, that's a cool trick. And if you're looking to update firmware, here it is. Here's all the informations, and if you need to update the firmware on the EOS R, check out that video right over there, or down there, or wherever. And there you go. If you want to see all the menu options in your Canon camera, make sure you're in manual mode. All right, and another thing worth mentioning is that Canon has an adaptive menu system, meaning that if you're in photo mode, you see one menu. If you're in video mode, you see another menu. If you're in automatic mode, you see another menu. So the camera will adapt depending on what mode you're in. So for example, the autofocus menu in photo and video are completely different. So if you're watching tutorial videos on YouTube and trying to follow along with what someone else is doing, make sure you're in the same mode. And another thing I want to mention is I started a Discord server. So if anybody's interested in joining, we're going to talk about photography and videography stuff there, share your photos with me, share your photos with the rest of the community, get some critique, get some feedback, all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, if you're into that, definitely join the Discord server, link in the description. There you go, now you know, and if you want more tutorials on Canon cameras and Canon menu settings, tips and tricks with Canon cameras, definitely subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more of that on the channel. I also do tips and tricks on photography and videography. So if you're into that, definitely subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.